Okay, so we're gonna start live streaming. Start streaming. So after the stream has started, we come back to VLC. I want to show you this side by side. And then instead of streaming, we're gonna click here on the arrow and then we're gonna play what we are streaming. And there you go. So you can see that it's bouncing from my server and I think it's around uh, four seconds late, but that is, that is, that, that is okay. I'm live streaming from my OBS and it is reflecting on my VLC. You can try this on your, uh, maybe your mobile phone using a different network, it will just fine. So you can literally live stream to any application that allows you to input your RTMP server. So what is going on everyone, Minibus with you here, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install a custom RTMP server for your live streams. And let's begin. So first of all, you're going to be needed in these three applications that I've put on my desktop. And uh, firstly, you're going to, uh, the three are not gonna be used right now, so you can go ahead and first download them. Uh, firstly, you, got, you can go ahead and download VLC. Just type VLC. And then the first website that comes on top is what we're going to need. Just go to the link and then just go ahead and click download. Then it's going to prompt you the EC's uh, thank you for, yeah. So it is 42 MBs, but I've already downloaded and installed mine, which I believe everyone by now knows how to install. And the second two, we have Putty and WinSCP, which we are going to be collecting from a different website. So I'm going to be linking all these links in the description. Okay, so the second you're going to need this, uh, you're, gonna go, you're gonna go to that website here. So if you're interested also in buying Windows product keys, you can go ahead and download, buy them from this website. But we're going to go to the collections tab and then scroll down to files and the link for software. Okay, so scroll down to, uh, we have the WinSCP and we have Party. So go ahead and download these two. You can go ahead and download. As you wait for that, you can also be launching the WinSCP. Uh, so you can see they are already downloading, which I do not want to download at the moment. Okay, so that is also going to download. So I already have mine, so no need to be downloading them at the moment. And thirdly, you're going to need a VPS that you're going to be using to host your RTMP server. In the case, uh, you're going to, I'll, I'm going to be putting the links in the description. Okay, so uh, we are going to be going direct here to our V. Uh, okay, you are going to go just right here. And then uh, what we need, we don't need too much. You will be needing this fast VPS. And in that case, you're just gonna go to select. You need a, a much faster VPS that uh, is a little bit cheaper. So monthly, you're gonna be being, paying 8.5 US dollars. So you can go ahead, if you want, you can go ahead and pay for 12 months which uh, you're going to be, uh, you're not going to be able to pay the one-time fee setup. But if you go for one month, you'll have to pay for it for three months. I think uh, it's being deducted. There is a discount there if you're buying for more months. So you sc just scroll down if you want to go for the NVMe, that is up to you because it does not need a lot. If you are going to use it for just RTMP, I suggest you go for 50, 50 GB NVMe, but me, I usually use more because I don't use it for only one thing. So you're gonna go ahead, you can either select the uh, the 22 or 20, but I usually want to select the lower version. Uh, go ahead, you can uh, generate your password, put the password that you want, and then you can go to next. Okay, when you're done registering and you've finished purchasing your VPS, you're going to be sent an email that appears to be just like this. 
okay so this is your IP address and this is this will be your password and this is where this software is going to be coming in so we're gonna launch party and you're going to come here and copy your IP address just right click and copy and come to this software here right click paste maybe also paste it here to save it and you can just double click to launch it Right, it's gonna say this just say yes and then uh, root okay you're gonna go, go ahead and copy your password and then uh, input it right you're gonna go back to your password here and then go back here and just right click to paste it won't show anything but just right click and then press enter Okay, after that, the first thing you're going to have to do is going to be to uh, change your password to something that you can remember. You're going to say pass WD, so let me input what I, let me just put in what I want. Again, and then successfully. Okay, so, uh, we're still going to go to this website here that we're going to install the RTMP server. Okay, uh, we're going to go to files again and then go to the script installation files. Okay, so scroll down and look for RTMP. And we are going to begin the installation process. So I'm going to make this be like side by side so that we can see it clearly. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you're gonna just go ahead and copy and paste. It's gonna be a just copy and paste because I've already listed down the script for you. Just copy and then right click to paste in the terminal and then press enter. Okay, what the Y, the minus Y means is whenever it prompts you to accept yes, it just does that for you automatically. Okay, we're going to first updating and then upgrading the software because it's a, it's a new VPS. I actually resetted it to, uh, to make this video. Okay, so we're gonna wait for some uh, minutes. I'm gonna fast forward this. Okay, so when it asks anything that appears to be like this, just press enter. And then again, just press enter. If it doesn't, just let it complete its uh, installation. Okay, uh, it is done. Good. Okay, immediately it is done. You can reboot, but let us see whether you can, if it can go ahead and install and it is okay, then just copy and then right click to paste, then press enter. Okay, we can press Y for yes and press enter also. Uh, that won't take too much time. Okay, thank you. That is also done. We're going to go down below here also and just right click and copy. Come back here to right click to paste. Already, okay, this is already installed. Then let's go to install the mode RTMP. Right click and copy. It's literally a copy and paste process. Okay, so the next step here is going to need you to open either Nano to go to the Nginx configuration file to change it. But uh, this is where this other software comes in. This is where this other software comes in. Uh, you're going to have to go to uh, where where you downloaded where you downloaded it and then install install what you've downloaded and then just open it okay uh, i don't want to upgrade just close and then it's going to open so we're going to go ahead and um, 
copy our VPS IP address, come here, go to new site, right click, paste, and then it's already server 22, don't change anything. You can input your user, your username, and then you can uh, put in your password. Okay, uh, if you want, you can go ahead and save. It's not recommended, but if I want to use it all the time, so let me not save it. Okay, just log in. Uh, update, uh, you can update, or you can, yes, just, just update. Okay, so we are in our server right now. If you press maybe home, or you can go ahead and press the root and it will bring you the files of the of the server that you have uh, bought. Okay, after you've installed everything, so what, we, what we're needing here at the moment is we are looking for the this folder here, the engx, and we're looking at this file. So what we're going to do, you're gonna come here and then go to find files. And let me first delete this. I think I've already uh, done it. So what we need here is the file we're looking for is the engines.conf. Right click and copy. Then come here, right click and copy, just paste. And then uh, this is the file, the X, the folder directory that we're looking for, just uh, paste or just right click and paste since we've just copied here. Okay, just so just start. And then it's going to search the file in the the server. Immediately it gets it, just double click to go where that file is. And then uh, just double click, it's going, to no, no, it's going to recognize it as a notepad. Okay, there you go. Immediately it launches it, just scroll down. The only thing you need to do is to come here and then you're going to have to copy from the word RTMP to this last bracket down here. So right click and copy this, then go below this uh, whatever script, right click and paste. So you can see the RTMP is just below the hashtag in that bracket. You can come to file and save. You can save again to confirm and you can just close this. Okay, so after you've done all that, we're gonna move on to the next. Uh, so we're gonna have to restart the Nginx server, the Nginx server. Go ahead, bring back your party, right click, and then paste. Just, just right click to paste and then press enter. So in order to confirm that this is really working, so we're gonna go system, System control, we're gonna say status. And Jinx, when you press enter, you can see that uh, our server is active and running. So we can uh, control, we can say, control C to get out of there. So the best thing I would advise is at uh, this moment, you can go ahead and uh, reboot your server. Uh, it's going to take around uh, like one, two, three or five seconds. Come back here to party. And then uh, you're going to just come back here to just double click. And then it's already uh, rebooted. Okay, so we are going to log in. Okay, fact that we're down there, we can... Uh, and clear this okay so uh, what we are going to need here is uh, so we're we just need now the URL that we're going to be using so let's say I have this is what we need here just copy and paste just right click copy then uh, paste press enter so you're gonna go ahead and open your OBS Okay, you can input anything that you want. You can create uh, you can create and go to a browser and create anything like a timer. You can go to any website 
and uh, just type in timer it's going to bring you something like this if you want to go ahead and test what exactly that i'm testing okay but that is okay i've already launched mine okay let me just uh increase this in size there we go okay so what we need is uh we're going to come back here so this is what we need you're gonna right click and copy this it's gonna be our rtmp our rtmp url we're going to go to settings and then we are going to go to stream and then we are going to come here and go to custom so what you're going to be putting here you're just going to right click maybe paste and then what you have in your ip address you come back to what you wrote as if config what you get here just right click highlight and right click to copy and then come back in your OBS and then you are going to edit what you have between the forward slashes. There you go. I think uh, I'm, yes, there you go. So just right click maybe and paste and there you go. So in the case of the stream key, you can put in anything that you want. You can see here, the stream key can be test or anything else. Okay, so in my case, let me put test one, two, three. Okay, when I show that. Okay, so uh, there you go. So you can apply and say, okay. So what is going to happen now is we're going to be streaming. We're going to start our stream. Okay, there you go. So our stream has started. And now in this case, we're going to be launching our VLC at this moment. We're going to go to media and we're going to go down here to stream, come here to network. And now this is what we're going. So same, same thing, just come here, right click. Uh, you're going to come to our OBS. Use exactly what we've, we've used. Just copy all this. Uh, let me stop the stream for now to copy what we have here. Okay, what we have here is right click, copy, and then we, when we come into VLC, you're going to right click and paste. Okay. After you've uh, pasted, the other thing you're going to do is if this is your stream key, so the stream key is going to come after you're going to say forward slash and you're going to say test you're going to type in uh, your you're going to type in your your stream key so it's going to be test one two three okay so we're going to start live streaming start streaming so after the stream has started we come back to vlc I want to show you this side by side and then instead of streaming we're going to click here on the arrow and then we're going to play what we are streaming and there you go so you can see that it's bouncing from my server and i think it's around uh four seconds late but that is that is that, that is okay so you can see that uh, I'm live streaming from my OBS and it is reflecting on my VLC. You can try this on your, uh, maybe your mobile phone using a different network, it will just fine. So you can literally live stream to any application that allows you to input your RTMP server. So that is how you install a custom RTMP server for your live stream. So. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.